Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in legendary Ironman land with everything enabled. Double enemy squad side, uh, size, yellow alert, hundreds of mods that make it really, really difficult. And the last mission, quite frankly, was an atrocious slaughter fest. Two hours of just going through enemies. Quite difficult enemies, I shall say. And this one here is going to be uh, quite a bit uh, more on the same league, I would expect. So we're <clears throat> having 17 enemies, but we do have a very timed mission. Uh, we're trying to get another scientist at Intel. Intel would help us to, of course, expand further and maybe buy some more toys. But the scientist also is helpful. And of course, I don't want to lose uh, the continent bonus. So it goes without saying that we're doing the VIP mission. We're up against uh, a couple of Perch normal troops, including Perch Mac. Then we do have drones, Heavy Mac. Um, we do have an Andromedon Prime, which is, by the way, why I loaded three um, immunity to acid vests, because they will help us to be to beat him easily. We got, uh, Praetor uh, we got some Praetorians, and other than that, really a lot of um, bi uh, biological units. The Praetorian, of course, is a biological unit as well, but I wanted to highlight about five, six different mechanical units. Given that it is only difficult, there might be a sector put Prime waiting somewhere, so keep in mind that can always come up. We do have cyborgs, yep, we got the Andromedon, we got the heavy mech, we got the hunter drone, we got the perch mech, so that's at least five, maybe six um, units, which also warrants why I have three times blue screen rounds. In order to deal with the Andromedon Prime, I just make myself immune to acid, which by the way is also good against the bio troopers. We got some explosives, we got a lot of movement with Shadow, who's going to scout ahead for us. And really the idea here is that Ataxium, Appropriate Murphy and um, Zirkim are getting their Colonel rank. Bubble is kind of the substitute who is following us around like a obedient puppy and maybe gets a rank as well in return. But before we are already talking about promotions, let's first and foremost get out alive, shall we? Off we go. Okay, we are landing. Let's see what we're dealing with. So first and foremost, we got an Advent Trooper. And it seems like it's one of those bio troopers with a shield. Oh, that's fantastic. Love it. Good, let's see what that guy has. Bioimmunities, poison, acid, and chrysalid poison. Great. Glass padding, which is good. Uh, shield deflect, I think that was 50%, and regeneration. The bio troopers, I really like that pack. It seems, even on a kind of normal playthrough, that it seems just like that one step above normal troopers. They have decent abilities, clear counters, not completely over the top. And then there is kind of the other side of the extreme custodians and uh, super warlocks that can... Uh, just with one ability do four things and don't get me wrong I mean the latter one is can also be fun but there is not a lot of counterplay that heretic is definitely the single unit with the biggest offense that I've taken so far in any unit so gotta get over here I'm blocking the ladder over here Good. We already know about two packs. One is here, one is here, which means there's really just space for one more pack. And since we are concealed, shall I make the drastic suggestion that we're actually charging up here? I'm all over it. Could have uh, Haywire Protocol uh, someone from concealment. I like it. Good thinking there. Okay, we, we're moving up so that we can jump through the window. Okay. 
bit concerned that they might run into us. Will do. Babo puts himself up here. How much movement does a heavy bio trooper have? Wow. Look at that, he can move much further than any of our soldiers. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, double move is as much as anyone can do in the first turn. Heavy mech, 18 hit points, 4 armor. Perger mech, 20 hit points, 5 armor. And fire, uh, fire um, bullets on top of it plus more damage. Good. So we are carefully moving over. Zirkim equally carefully moves up here. Okay, so these guys are standing all right here a delicate placement i think it's a fair opener to use double grenade plus fall damage Very nice. All right, these two are starting to burn. Bubble moves up, and I think we want to kill that mech first. Nice little chain shot. Exactly enough to get that mech down. Zirkim receives an aid protocol because why not? It's another Overwatch. And let's haywire the drone. I think the drone had healing capabilities or shielding. Okay, it doesn't matter. Even if we fail, the drone itself it does not have strong of. Uh, offense capabilities. What's over there? Good, Roby moves up. Straight up a nice little kill. Implacable, baby. Moving up. So. 
And we're continuing our rampage by shifting over teamwork. Purifier. Explodes and just takes everything with them. Since Rovi is standing in the open, might as well give him an aid protocol. Which could have used run gun, moved here, taken the shot, and achieved the same result. Minus the five hit point damage, of course. Time for our tank to actually tank. Oh, the Praetorian regenerates. Interesting, okay. Slightly disoriented, a little bit of damage. I am still waiting for the assault trooper to actually tank. Okay, then. We gotta deal with the burning in a second for now bubble gets the revival protocol because i don't like this orientation and if we can remove it then we should yeah zirkim is good to go Okay, yeah, we're definitely good to go. Uh, Saw Trooper takes frontline without triggering another pack, of course. Need to deal with that thing in a second. For now, all three are going to get grenaded. There we go. Cover gone. And time to get that perch mech down. <laughs> 20 damage. Due to its EMP weakness. I love it. Whatever you say. Bubble moves up. We will come to you in a second. Let's first... Move to here. I should summon the turret, by the way. Air yeah, trigger, that's exactly what we were hoping for. Let's get rid of the burning. I know that he's regenerating, but the burning effect also prevents him from taking melee attack actions. And oh, I thought he could charge down. No, his melee is on cooldown. All right, fair enough. Using Blood Trail and just getting the Sniper down. Oh, no. 
Alright, we're using run and gun. Trying to not trigger any more packs. Worked like a charm. Does not work so well as 95% hit chance, but okay. Robbie cleared that flank here by himself. The power of a fully upgraded ranger. Yeah, we're just going to overwatch. Okay, two picks down. This mission is easier than expected. I seriously would have thought that we are would get our rears kicked. All right, see, that's way more like I am used to it. Chrysalid Hive Warrior and a few others. Good. At least we know what we're dealing with. We don't want to trigger anyone. Not yet. Bubble reloads and then decides to move up. Sierke moves up. Inappropriate Murphy. Go all the way down there. Roby begins to move closer to the target and do we have an autoloader? No, we don't so he would autoload. We can stand in the open because no enemy pack could hit us here. Alright, come on. It's not that difficult to, uh, to throw that thing. Advanced hair trigger. Okay, cool. So trooper goes on to Overwatch. And there's a nice little shot. Like it. As always, XCOM keeps nasty surprises, unless, of course, you have a Reaper. Oh, that's a good one. The problem is the Andromedon Prime will get two actions out of it. But... But, if you use someone who is immune, like Bubble, it really doesn't matter. Almost can reach it. 
This here is out of line of sight. Shouldn't even be able to retaliate. Unfortunately, can't really shoot far enough, which is a shame. I do not want to hit the truck. That's the best we can do, which means two hits on two of them, one on the Andromedon Prime. Good. Turret moves over here. Takes out the Viper. Done. Can't stand too close together. That would be a problem. Don't want to attack him in melee either. Next turn we can move up. What is <clears throat> the bonus for hacking? Reinforcements 50-50. Nah. Really not worth it. I mean, we could reduce the wheel power. But other than making them a little bit easier for psionics, it really wouldn't do us any favor. Bubble could get the healing, and that's pretty much about it. If we charge in, there will be a repercussion. So instead, we're going into moderate cover over here. Trying to get that collector down. <laughs> Who, of course, evades. But you know, we do have a Reaper. Finish those kinds of activities. 100% shot. Chatham. Problem solved. Alright, so they triggered. I was hoping it would not be the case. Prophet Murphy moves up. Starts shredding nicely. And time for some rapid fire. Fortunately dodge, but we can still kill it. Of course not with a miss. Overwatch, 
and these guys have technical analysis so their range is very limited doesn't prevent them from killing civilians By the way, immune against uh, chrysalid poison, which is a nice trait. Directly deflected that shit. Yeah, well, that was some advanced bullshit right there. We had nothing was hitting the truck, nor was it in any way damaged. But apparently that is good enough nowadays to just kill us. By the way, the guy still has Overwatch. This is an absolute joke. Alright, Shadow moves up. And we're preventing Overwatch and starting to shred him. Nice little EMP weakness. It is really surprising just how how much the game can throw in your way if uh, if you're about to win. Eighty six percent. Eighty six percent is not a hundred percent, but it is close enough. We can reload, take that shot. I got it, right? Reloading for attacks here. Okay. Getting the remaining enemies down. Nice hit. Very nice hit. All right, so. All right, let's give it a go and show the Andromedon who's boss. Off we go, extra movement in the direction of the Andromedon. Yeah, this mission is nothing compared to the last one, but funnily enough, despite it being easier, we're actually, I wouldn't say losing, but we're being pushed with our backs against the wall. Chain shot should get the prime down. Oh no, it was not a dark VIP, it was actually a VIP mission. Well, F you game for letting me lose this. And we lost it in a stupid way. <laughs> it says nothing I could have done. 
We haven't even taken shots at uh, the car. Just decided to explode. Fantastic. Not only do we not get uh, the, uh, the intel, but I think we're also losing that area. Does picking up the corpse do any good? If, if you say so. Potentially not. No, can't even pick it up. That is ironic. The easier mission and Saiken fails it, like the new peers. The more difficult mission I stand my ground. Don't tell me that the game now has problems just because we're moving. Alright, let me fix that guys. All right, back. So, took a while to get to the evac zone, but this time everybody will be evac'd. Unfortunately for us. Wait, what? That guy needs to be evac'd as well? Oh, come on. And what the hell heck did you even do underground? Okay, whatever. What I was about to say is, unfortunately for us, uh, the one person that we wanted to get with us, the good old um, VIP, has not made it out alive. Because the game decided, you know what, Saiken? It's going to well for you. You need to lose a mission. And since I can't complain because I put the mod pack together there is really only one person to blame if anyone which would be me I have no idea what really made it explode I think it is the purge team the purge team see seems a bit uh, not imbalanced but not fully uh, fleshed out that uh, purge cyborg which generally is a good uh, idea was trying to grapple uh, or grab the bio uh, the bio guy got deflected and maybe maybe that caused a reaction because uh, the grappling hook didn't hit grappling hooks have the tendency to be really good at cover destruction you can uh, see that with the skirmishers so they do have an incredibly high cover destruction value how that automatically lets the car explode is beyond me but most certainly that could have played a role Unfortunately, we also did not get any promotions and uh, we very nicely have lost contact to New Australia. Fantastic. Then effing tastic. Well done. If I recall correct. Yep, that was also the area with the good old... Um, with the good old uh, resistance uh, training in there and we well we need to get that back live fire training is so so important so installing a radio relay here because elsewise we can't train our sergeants and that will prevent us from getting more trained uh, soldiers master ghosts okay well here is a mission that hopefully will be a bit easier after that rather harsh treatment that we have had. Good. I'll figure that out, guys. If you want to know what also explodes if it is not treated well, then it is the like button. I have heard uh, rumors that if you click it often enough, uh, YouTube uh, will see explosions on its website. Just an idea. You might want to hit it if it heats up. 
uh, that video goes viral and more people can see random bullshit in XCOM. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.